Now, to make intuitive decisions about anything, there are a number of steps to go through. The step one is develop your belief system, and I'll go through these. Step two is listen to your body or your gut. Step three is learn to tune in. Step four is notice your energy level. And step five is listen to your dreams. These are five ways that you can apply to a intuitive decision making. And with any decision that you're about to make, you can apply all these. And if one doesn't work, you go to the next. So I, I use all of these in consort. As a psychiatrist with patients, I'm constantly using these intuitive techniques as I'm listening to somebody or intuitively. It's very important to listen intuitively and not just with the head. All right, so I'll go through each step so that you can get an idea of it and then we'll get on to the practical applications of this. All right, number one, your belief system about intuition. You must believe that tuning into something other than the mind will yield positive results and that it, it's possible. All right, if you go into this uh, with, I don't believe it, I'm skeptical, um, I don't think it will work, I only believe in hard facts, that will inhibit the intuitive decision making because you have to be a little playful and a little open to the mystery or to the unknown or to another way of processing information other than um, the linear mind. And so your belief system, you have to set positive beliefs about the outcome that you will be able to tune in and you will be able to get the right answer for yourself. And so you have to set this positive intention as opposed to going into it with panic and I'm never gonna get this and I can't do it and it's not possible. You know, all of those negative thoughts that could come in and to just know that intuition is possible and even if you've had a hard time tuning in before, you can always begin to do it. All right, so the first step is developing positive attitudes about what you're, you're doing when you make intuitive decision making and having fun with it. I can't tell you how much fun I have doing this. You know, it is just such a blast to be able to be that alive. Intuition allows you to be present in the moment, connecting with somebody. And to me, connection is everything. You know, it's worth everything to me, positive, important, heartful, rich connections with people, with life. All right, that's very important on my list of what I want to do here in this world. All right, and intuition facilitates that. It facilitates deeper connections with people. It allows you to be in the moment because when you tune in, you must be in the moment. Your mind can't be drifting over to, you know, what's happening, you know, on the other side of the United States you know, or what somebody's thinking. Your mind can't be drifting. When I use intuition and when you use intuition, it requires that you be 100% present. And you have to set aside your problems. Everybody's got problems. But when you tune in, it's a sacred exercise that you have to set aside whatever's going on in your life, your other problems, and there'll always be something. I can guarantee you, you know, just going through the, the life experience, we always have something, and it rotates. You know, or there are new things that come up. And so the key to tuning into intuition is setting your own issues aside and learning how to become neutral so that you can tune in. Neutrality is very important, that you come to intuition as clear as possible.